Well, hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome back to Tuesday Teaching Tips. It's welcome back from me and it's welcome back from my friend Beethoven there. However, this is a scene, a situation, a backdrop, if you like, that you won't be seeing very much longer because, well, fingers crossed, I should be moving house in a couple of weeks. So, first bit of warning is teaching tips is going to be a bit spasmodic this term as I move out of this house and then we are going to live somewhere temporary for a few weeks until I move, until we move into our new house in sort of early November. As I said, please keep your fingers and toes crossed because like all house moves in the UK, it's not been the easiest of things. So the other thing though I have been doing besides trying to move house is I have been working very hard on up updating the piano framework. Here we go. This is called the piano framework. This is a printed version. Um, the piano. F this is the third edition of the piano framework and the piano framework started off as a result of my PhD and really digging into what what was grade one was the question I asked what is grade one and of course nobody could really answer in the exam boards you know what is grade one it's such it's so many different things in so many different ways to different teachers and to different pupils and I was a little curious I suppose about how it, how much information we could get down or uh, work out about what learning the piano does consist of. And this is, as I say, the third edition and each one it gets deeper and it gets more thoughtful and more useful and robust, I think. And as it says here, the piano framework provides a comprehensive overview of the many different and overlapping, often overlapping features and elements that learning the piano involves. And we have actually four sections in the framework and these four sections run all the way from beginner, because that's where it starts, and it goes all the way up to advanced level. So that's post grade eight. And these four sections um, work throughout every single level. And those are musical concepts, technical skills, pianistic skills and style and performance four different areas that we kind of have to intermingle and work with as a as a group so i think what i'm going to do i i and i also have to say i have found this so invaluable as a teacher it really does guide my teaching and it helps me know where i'm going in a way that nothing else does if you think about exams they're very linear and you go from grade one to grade two, to grade two, to grade three, but grade one and grade two are not the same. So what happens to that bridge in between grade one and grade two? Do you know what it consists of? What about grade six to seven? There's another big bridge point there. So this really guides my teaching and helps me to work out what my student needs to do next what concept do they need and it helps my students also to understand that and particularly it helps parents to see just how much learning the piano involves and that just because you've done grade one doesn't mean to say you can go straight away into grade two this isn't graded therefore although there is a reference to the grades and what I'm going to be doing this term, when you see me, is I'm going to be digging into some of these particular subcategories that we have in the piano framework and showing the progression that it highlights. I find it an absolutely fascinating document. You might say that, yes, Sally, you would do. But it, it, it really does give me clarity. And I know that many members of the community have also found it very, very helpful for planning their curriculum. So... That's my little bit of news. I've been working on the piano framework and I'm going to be moving house. You will see me next week, fingers crossed, all being well. And then after that, um, I'm not sure. So, l hope you're enjoying the start of your teaching. I'm about to go and do my first teaching of the year. Not here, but at, at a pupil's house. Do enjoy what you do. Keep smiling. Teach music. All right, take care. Bye-bye.